White Hill University presents Dr. Dave Samuel as he helps us know hunting. Most of the white tailed deer range in the north from Montana to Missouri to Kentucky to New Jersey, the peak of the rut is sometime around the middle of November. I thought that's the way it was everywhere, but in fact, in parts of the south, adjacent deer herds, herds that are as little as five miles apart, the rut can vary by three to five weeks. In fact, there's a, a county in northwestern Alabama where the peak of the rut is late February. Just unbelievable. How could that happen? Well, a recent study done in Louisiana and Mississippi looked at a number of deer herds, adjacent deer herds, that had rut times that varied by three to five weeks. And they looked at the gene makeup or the genetic makeup of all the does and bucks in those herds, or a bunch of them. And what they found was that the genes in the does were different and affected the rut time from these deer. Well, how would you get deer in the south and adjacent deer herds, how would you get does that had different genetic makeup? The suggestion is, and the postulation is, that a lot of deer were stocked 40, 30, 40, and 50 years ago from all over the United States into those areas. And those different deer brought in different genetic makeups. And the does transfer that to the rest of the herd. And the theory is that that causes a variable rut time even in adjacent herds. Interesting study, an amazing study. And it gives those guys down there a little better chance to bow hunt. They can hunt the rut for a lot longer period than we can up north. All they got to do is move uh, one county over. This is Dr. Dave helping you to know hunting.